Right now, it's a huge epidemic of epic B-roll going around. We see it every day. Camera flips, uh, speed ramps, mass transitions. It's fire as f I can't lie. But I'm going to keep it real, though. <laughs> I can't do this. Nah, in all seriousness, though, I've noticed that this B-roll form works best in short-form content, uh, commercials, sequences. But you can't watch 10 minutes of this. It's just not optimal. I make videos here on my channel that are on average around eight to 10 minutes long. And B-roll helps these videos seem a lot shorter than they actually are. It's more to look at. It's me showing examples of what I'm talking about. It's just a better video when the B-roll's there over top of me talking. Here's where boring B-roll comes into place. It's not fast paced. It's not movement heavy. It's not mind blowing, but it's strategically filmed and placed at a pace that's easy to follow. The root of this all is composition. I film with a three by three grid on my camera at all times, and I try to place the subject of my shot at one of these highlighted points. Now the background plays a huge part in this all, but I really like to play with leading lines and symmetry a lot as well. That's my mental when composing these shots. This is the gear that I use. All of this gear is completely overkill and unnecessary by the way. You can go for a $30 tripod from Walmart, or this, or even this, or this, which I've been trying to give away for the longest. Let's just do that at the end of this video. But here's the gear that I actually use. The Manfrotto 502 Fluid Head Tripod. Now a lot of my B-roll shots are static, but the Fluid Head comes in handy if I want to get some smooth pan and tilt movements for my shots. I basically just frame up the shot with good composition and focus where I plan to be in the shot. If I'm in the shot the entire time, I'll even use autofocus for it. The next piece of gear is this Syrup Magic Carpet Pro Slider. Phenomenal slider that uses a flywheel system to get extra smooth shots, but it's manual. So whenever I have shots when I need to film myself with movement, I use this Genie 2 attachment. It's essentially just a motion control system that I can control via app. Okay, so I like to use slides to really emphasize character movement and shots. If I'm coming through a frame and I'm moving to the right, okay, let's slide to the right as well to just give that movement that extra oomph. Whenever I have some nice foreground, I just love using a slider. The movement is subtle, but it makes a world of difference. From here, it's just me doing or acting out whatever I'm talking about in the video, whether that's me watching a movie or writing in a notebook or making popcorn. It's just me trying to give you guys something to look at so you don't have to watch me talk the entire video. Ironically, this boring B-roll makes the video a lot less boring. If you guys need that extra B-roll for your videos, and you just forgot to film it because it happens to all of us, you can use Storyblocks to get the shots that you need for your video project. Storyblocks is an online database with royalty-free stock footage that you can use in all your footage and not have to worry about copyright claims. Aside from the stock footage, Storyblocks also offers After Effects templates and motion backgrounds for your projects. Within this video, you guys may have seen some really nice time lapses to help me get from one point to the next, and I find that Storyblocks works amazing for these types of transitions in your video. If you guys are interested in trying out Storyblocks, make sure to hit that link down in the description. You guys can get unlimited downloads on royalty-free stock footage, After Effects templates, and motion backgrounds when signing up for an unlimited plan. Highly recommend it to you guys. I've been using Storyblocks for a while, and I absolutely love it. Okay, so this slider. The person I was originally supposed to give this slider to, I hit him up to send it to him. They said that they actually quit filming and they would rather me send the slider to somebody else. So I did an Instagram giveaway for the slider. The person who won it was international, so I had to send them a gift card for the amount of the slider. If you live in the United States and you want this slider, all you got to do is drop a like on this video. Also head down to the comment section to drop a comment, including your Instagram handle. I'm going to randomly choose a comment a week from today and uh, Instagram is going to be the way that I'm going to be able to contact you. So make sure to drop a comment and include your Instagram handle in that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like. Uh, also consider subscribing to the channel if you're new here. I make content about making videos. So if you're into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm out, guys. Peace.